how to create these gradients in ClickFunnels 2.0 using simple CSS code. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add an element, right? So now here we're going to subheadline and create a new element, right? Now, after we have that, we have to go to two step process. The first one is click right here in code. Once we have this, it is going to open up the CSS code, but then you need to go ahead and press this generate ID in the CSS ID selector. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We select that. Now we have a unique ID for this element here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. As we do this, we're going to copy and paste it there. And now we're going to add the brackets. Now these brackets are going to be everything inside it is going to change what's happened inside this stuff. Okay. So if you go to my CSS 2.0 um, master bundle, you will find this code. So just grab it from, from the Google Doc and paste it here. If you don't have the CSS master bundle, if you haven't purchased it, no problem. I'm going to give this code for you for free. Okay. Just so follow along. So we need to, to create our gradient. And the tool that I love to use in the gradient tools is the color space. So it's basically my color dot space slash gradient. Okay. So once you go to this tool, you need to click in gradient. And now here you pretty much build the colors that you like. Okay, so for example, here, this is the direction. So let's go ahead from left to right. Now here we have the colors that we need. Okay, so let's just add a very, you know, uh, very, I don't know, like this kind of grid, right? It's surely it's going to be ugly, but it's just for you to understand how it looks and how you create it. And then you select the direction and click generate. Once you do this, it is going to create this type of gradient. Okay, now we just need to copy this code. Once we have this code, let's go over to the click funnels. Okay. Click code. Now here we're going to paste it right there. But as you can see, it added behind as a background color, you know, just like that. So we need to do a few things in order for us to fix it. And those things are going to be three. So the first one is a web kit text field color to transparent. The second one is a background clip to text. And the third one is web kit background clip to text as well. And once you do this, it basically, um, you know, creates a mask, right? That is going to embed those great that gradient into the letters instead, you know? So when you do this, you are pretty much uh, enabling the, the this code to be applied there. Okay. Now let's say that you want to add this exact same fate in fact, into this other one. Okay. You could do to code, you could go ahead and generate, you could copy it. Now you could paste it right here and it would also, you know, adapt it and get that, that effect. But you don't always need to do this every single time. You can just clone this one once it's done and change the text here. And there you go. You don't have duplicated CS code every single time. So you just right here, as long as you duplicate this same element instead of creating a new one. Okay. You are going to be able to use this anywhere you want in your funnel. Okay. So very, very quick overview. It's basically you create a new element. You go ahead to code, you generate a new ID, you copy that new ID and you paste it right here. You open brackets, then you generate your CSS code using my, uh, my color space, my color dot space. You create whatever code you want right here with the millions and millions of colors right here. You generate by choosing the, the direction and then you generate it. You paste it over here. And then the other three parts is the web kit, text field color to transparent, the background clip to text, the web kit, background clip to text as well. And there you go. You have those effects um, that you were looking for. Have a wonderful day.